Wilhelm. Hey, this is Mike at Wilhelm Automotive. We're back again. Uh, today this truck came in, customer's complaint was, last weekend did a little bit of towing, and now this week after the trip, he has what a lot of people have felt before, a brake pulsation, or when you hit the brakes, this, in his case, the steering wheel shakes pretty badly, especially at freeway speeds. So what we've done so far is we've pulled the caliper off to expose the brake pads, we've looked at the rotors, um, we've got excessive runout. So what I want to show you next is we've got the brake pad, the inside brake pad is right here as you can see. We're going to take a measurement on the brake pad. Now this gauge right here, you can see the top gauge, this is a brand new pad, that's 12 millimeter. That is what a new pad on this vehicle had is 12 millimeter. So you see our gauges, these are measurement gauges, they go down, they're incremented in millimeter. So at the bottom of this pad, we're in the red zone, we're in three millimeter. That's, it's hitting the usable wear limit. So we're almost to the end. Uh, when we get into the red gauge, we typically recommend service um, either immediately or soon thereafter. Now you look at the top, we're at four, about four and a half, almost a five millimeter. So we have an indifference in pad size and pad wear from top to bottom. A um, lot of things can contribute to that. These slide bolts right here, they can become, they can become contaminated, they can get stuck. The, these clips here, you can see how much dust is built up on these metal clips. The pad actually slides on this and when these get too much buildup, they'll actually stick so they won't return away from the rotor. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna take the rotors off, we're gonna take them to the brake lathe, and we're gonna show you the machining process to machine the runout out and take care of this customer's brake pulsation.